Do you have the statistical results of the study completed? Yes. Despite problems with the modeling due to multiple assumption violations and having to uninstall and reinstall Enterprise died five times, we finally completed the analysis. The good news is that the p-value for the primary comparison is 0.004. Great. So the likelihood that my findings are due to chance is 0.004. Not really. That would be an incorrect interpretation. Oh. Okay then. I see. Well, you must mean that there is a 99.996% chance that there is a real difference between the study groups. Or, equivalently, there is a 0.4% chance that the null hypothesis is true, right? No, that would also be an incorrect interpretation. Are you serious? Unfortunately, I'm very serious. Well, in the recent Jones et al. study they reported a p-value of only 0.03 for the same comparison, so at least I have found stronger evidence of the effect. Correct? Not exactly. The study was much larger, so they probably had more evidence of an effect than in your study, even though your p-value is smaller. I really can't be sure without looking at their results. But wait a tick. Their p-value is larger. Yes, I know, but p-values are weird like that. You can't compare their magnitude unless the sample sizes are equal. What good is that? It's rare that two studies have a new the same sample size. So, can you explain to me what a p-value of 0.004 actually means? Yes. If one assumes that the distribution of values is identical in the two populations under study, usually referred to as the null hypothesis, then the p-value addresses the following question. What is the probability that the difference between randomly selected samples will be as large or larger than actually observed? You're serious. Yes, the p-value is the answer to that question, so a p-value of 0.004 can be interpreted as follows. If the null hypothesis of no difference between the treatment group and the usual care group is true, then less than 0.4% of all experiments of the size in your study would result in a difference between the groups as large as or larger than was observed. Yeah. Uh, right. Well... The important thing is that the p-value is less than 0.05 and therefore is statistically significant. Cha-ching. That means publication. Well, maybe. You see, the thing is that statistical significance and practical or clinical significance are not the same thing. Just because a result is statistically significant doesn't mean that it has any clinical importance. I have had enough. Please go away now.